Con rights consist of various components, mainly, of course, con rules and matrix, and then there are a couple of trace and um, minor components such as CIs, metal, pre solar grains, and so on. And one question is where these components came from. So, came they from just one single volume, just one reservoir within the protoplanetary disk and then aggregated into the parent body? Was rather there were a couple of reservoirs, volumes in the protoplanetary disk in which the various components formed and then all were mixed together? Now, this question is in particular important for chondrules themselves. So, is it that chondrules formed in one reservoir and then aggregated the parent body? Or is it that there were multiple reservoirs of chondrules that were then mixed into the parent body? And so, to address this question and to work with this question, it is important to um, be aware of what kind of single reservoirs or mixing and so on are possible. And this is what I'd like to show here. Now, before I show this, it is important to notice as well that when we talk about mixing chondrules, we only look at individual chondrite groups. So we only ask, are chondrules from CV chondrites um, mixed from multiple reservoirs, or do they come from one single reservoir? We, we're not asking, did chondrules um, in CV and CR chondrites mix from different reservoirs. And the reason for this is that CR, CV, CM, CO chondrites have quite different chondrules. So it is quite unlikely that, that there was mixing among these various groups. For example, CM, CO chondrites have very small, tiny chondrules, and CV chondrites have quite large chondrules compared to the CM. CM have maybe 150 micron in diameter, I um, mean, in um, CVs is more like six, seven, eight hundred, something like that. So it's quite different. So if we look at mixing, we only look at different groups. And then there are about four possibilities um, regarding single reservoir or multiple reservoirs. So I said we're looking at only one group now, for example, at CV chondrites, for example, Mokoya, Allende, Kaba, and so on. Now, in this first case, there's just one volume. Um, basically within the reservoir, and in this volume, chondrules form, and from all these chondrules, the various pan bodies or mitrites form, so Allende forms from this reservoir, Mukoya, Kaba, and so on. So forming means aggregating the chondrules. In the second possibility, there's not just one reservoir, but there are multiple reservoirs. And in each of these reservoirs, Maybe the chondral population is slightly different due to slight differences in peak temperature, um, melt duration, or whatsoever. So then there's one small reservoir um, forming with, with chondrules forming, aggregating then Kaba, another aggregating Allende, another Mokoya, and so on. So there might be one big cloud or volume, and within this are subdomains that have the various chondral populations that then form the various chondrites. So this would still be more like single reservoir, but a single reservoir for each chondrite. Then regarding mixing. So in this case, there would be multiple reservoirs within the protoplanetary disk, and these are all mixed. So the chondrites from all the various reservoirs are mixed together to form Koya, Allende, Kaba, and so on. So this is quite a funny mix of all the chondrules from all the various reservoirs. And then finally, there might be three reservoirs, but the chondrules from these reservoirs only mix into Kaba. Then another three or four or five, doesn't matter, reservoirs, and the chondrules from these only form um, Kaba, and then another couple of reservoirs only forming Allende. So this would be the last case down here. And this is all that is possible about mixing. And this is quite important to keep in mind because this has certain um, implications for the structure of the protoplanetary disk and so on. Also, interestingly, the first two cases here, so the, the one single reservoir and the multiple reservoirs mixing are essentially the same. Because over here in the, in, in the top left, we have just one single reservoir. But in here, in this one, we have multiple reservoirs, 
but because they all get mixed, it's like this is just one large reservoir, essentially. So there's a certain relationship. And then we're basically just left with this for, for sort of mixing, which is then quite interesting because it's less mixing as we might expect. So it is not about um, going into detail here. This is just to give an idea of the basics um, or the background when we talk about mixing and what we need to, to keep in mind and be aware of that when we talk about mixing, that all these implications here are critical and important to consider.